Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Envy X360 laptop here. And in this exact, again the exact model for this one is an M6-AQ105DX. And in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to replace your battery or remove your battery entirely. And this in process applies for any M6 AQ uh, series. So it doesn't matter if you have an AQ series 200 or 105 or whatever, this applies for you. If you have an M6 model AQ, this is for you. Alright, if you power on and it tells you battery is running low, you must replace your battery and this is the process that you should follow. The, it's really easy, it's not too hard to replace it. I'll leave the link in the description for the tools that I used and the battery replacement. If I find a link for it, I'll leave them in the video description so you guys can look for it. And the tools that you're going to be needing, it's a screwdriver set. I use the iFixit and I recommend you guys to grab this iFixit tool set. You can get the Pro set which they include with the tweezers and opening tools and everything you need. Or you can just simply grab the screwdriver set. Because from here we're going to be using a Phillips number 1 and a Torque number 5. These beds are made of S2 classy steel, that means it will last you a very really long time. Uh, if you don't want to get the Pro set, you can grab for opening tool a guitar pick. A metallic guitar pick will do just fine because of the soft edges, it's really hard to scratch and it's really tough to bend. And this laptop at the bottom cover, you want to power it off. At the bottom cover, you should see our four rubber uh, legs. And this one is missing four of them. But if you only need to remove the two in the back side by the hinge, one on each side. To remove them, just grab the guitar pick, open it to stick it right underneath and just peel it off. It has an adhesive to it. And then you're going to see a, a one screw under each. Those are Phillips number one. So go ahead and remove those screws. The both screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching this. And then you want to switch to a fellow uh, torque number five and remove two screws at the back middle and the four in the front end of the laptop. I hope you guys like my videos and helps you guys out. If you guys want to support the channel, you can just click that like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps and motivates me to make more videos for you guys and take requests, answer your comments. I really appreciate it. All right, once you remove all the screws that are in there, all you need to do is to grab the opening tool, stick it between the top and the bottom cover, and then just want to twist. I'm not sticking, the screen is right there, so I'm not sticking between the screen, the palm rest and the bottom cover. So don't think that I'm sticking between the screen and the bottom cover. And uh, you want to hear some clicking to the sides, all the way to the corner back. Once you lift up the front side and the back, the back side should be really easy. All you need to do is stick it between the top grill on the top of it. And that's it. And there's a clip right in the middle here. There's a hooks. You want to grab it from one corner and you want to wiggle it around a little bit and then lift it up. You might have to pull really hard if it's your first time on this ones because the clips right here, they hook up right from here. You might hear like a big click, that's fine. Once you remove that one, you're going to see the battery right in front of you in the front end of the laptop. This battery, the model is an MB04XL. But if you want to get it directly from HP spare part number, is an 844 204-850 now if you want to remove this battery you want to grab the Phillips number one and there's a little arrow one there one there and this one over here this one over here and this one over here and there's one over there 
you're going to remove all these screws. Once you remove all the screws, and you can simply just pick it up and pull back on this jack and you will disconnect the battery. And it is really dirty. And this battery, it is kind of inflated. I see a little bit of inflation in here. And you see tiny, in here is flat, and here these two cells are inflated. It's okay, a little bit flatter. Let's say you get the new battery in, pull in the jack here. You can just pull the jack back and just connect it back in and slide it in. Put the battery right on top, align it, make sure the screw holes match. And simply grab the screws, plug them in. Put all the screws in place. Make sure the cable that goes under the in, under the hook right there, so it doesn't stick up. All right. Once you finish up with the screws, all you need to do is grab the top cover, bring it over, align it straight over, and then push the corner back, the back middle. Make sure you hit those clicks. The front corner the front end and in the middle just press right here you want to hit those clicks for those hooks then there we go and if you see any gap opening just pinch them together and the last thing would be to just grab the bottom screws put them under the hinge put the rubber legs on top of it and then put the chrome screws with the torque number five Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to replace your battery. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I always try to answer all the comments as soon as I can. I would really appreciate it if you guys could click that like and think about subscribing if you want to support the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the screws.